hello everyone so today we are going to work on this uh, global wet level for our landscape material so here you can see near the beach you can see the sand looks wet and as we go up in the beach the wetness depletes so this area also looks somewhat wet but it's not as wet as here so yeah here it looks like soaked with water so this is what we are going to work on today and this wetness is everywhere in our landscape and even if you make any changes to the landscape it will be automatically adjusted because we have set this globally in the material so this is what i am going to work on today okay so the next step is i want to have some wet look near this uh, water level so to implement that let me open the landscape material and we mainly need to appear the wetness in the sand layer so let's go to sand layer and here we have a constant function for the roughness now in order to get the wet look what we have to do is manipulate in the roughness and maybe darken the base color a bit so how can we do that well first just like we did to detect this be this beach level we can uh, do some blending here so we get the beach level and beach size but we don't need the whole beach to look wet so let's for now let's just consider this level and let's do a clamp oh wait no so this is outside the landscape uh, this is in the landscape material but i need to do that thing that i was talking about in the material function itself so but we should use the same c level for both functions so one thing we could try here is actually without going into these layers itself we can use a set material attributes node here and another get material attribute node here and then we could get the base color and the roughness right now here we can set uh, let's uh, start with the base color so we need a multiplier in order to make it look wet the base color should become a bit darker and for that we can use this this output here and do a clamp between here we shouldn't go as further as zero so let's try 0.8 and one and apply ah, here here you see the weight level so 
you can clearly see the color but we don't really need this far so so actually the sea level should go further down because our water level is over here should we reduce this Not much. Now where is the color change? It's over here. Now actually I like when the sand is somewhat over here also. So let me revert that. I'll keep 1800 as the sea level maybe we should rename this not sea level pH level okay and this should appear further down so maybe we should use another name for this something like wet level Yeah, so let me duplicate this and rename wet level. Oh, this is peach. L is missing here. Didn't notice that. Okay, and uh, we can use the same calculation to calculate the weight level as well but now that I'm going to do the same calculation twice I think it's a good idea to create a function to encapsulate this yeah Let's create a material function. Material, material function. MF. Right plant. Right. Hold on. Let me copy with copy everything. So that we can promote parameters as we needed. So this is the output. And let's define function input. Scalar uh, I'll name this height and need another parameter. Well, should we call this blend height? Okay because we are getting is some blending values so blending alpha values so better to call it blend and blend region so this is going to be the beach size right 
uh, as the preview. I'll connect these and to this input we should use this one and the next input here okay now the function is complete. Apply. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Here now let me drag and drop that function. M white blend. Blend region. Oh wait this how do we set the order well I'm not sure this because I like if the uh, here if first parameter is blend height but I don't know if I can change the order. Oh, all right. Yeah, this is one. Mm -hmm. is still not changed oh, actually the lower value has the priority so this one should be 0 and this one should be 1 right now we get the height first ok bit size is the blend region and here is the output. Okay, everything works same. We just simplified the material. We can get rid of this now. This is page and similar to this we can have a wet level here we need a let's use the user constant here for the wet region so maybe 100 Yeah, thousand. I'll just this as the input to this clamp. Apply and see. Right, so we have the weight level here, but it should go to go further down. What's the height here? Okay, it's 10. Let's use 20. Hmm. Too much.
yeah i think this uh, wait, region is fine because this area is almost flat so if i make it zero okay a little bit easier Let me move this here so that we can add a comment. Wait, level. And if we make it a bit less. Right. So it looks the wet level is much distinguishable now, which is good. Um, what else we can do? Yeah, we need to modify the roughness value. So here, roughness as to another multiplication. Add roughness We might need another clamp here Because in order to see a distinguishable roughness um, change, we might have to go closer to zero to get the real wet look. See, now we do have that. Uh, the sand looks wet for real. Okay. Oh, loading issue. All right. So yeah, here looks the sand is really wet, and as we go up, now we have dry sand. and that is global and also the wetness changes here you see this area looks really wet all right so that is everywhere it's global the level is global so i'm going to stop this episode right here and thanks for watching so as always project files will be available for the download in the patron page link would be in the description below and if you like to support my work you can get the membership of the patron club see you in another episode goodbye